thanks for trying them out tonight and everybody tell me what you think of Blake's dream property and his hello friends it's already almost dark but Blake's working with the horse and I thought I'd show you real quick this is a horse we've had on the property before let's see how much you've watched our channel if you can tell me which horse this is Blake's not trying to scare this horse. He's trying to get it to realize that, hey, this is not gonna hurt you. So he's just waving this training flag around it. And if he'll stop moving to the pressure, then he'll stop. So now he's gonna try it the other way. So do any of you know which horse this is? I'll tell you here in a little bit, but. Blake, you wanna come under the light over here so we can see you a little better? Yeah, you should call mom until I get a sunset picture. Hey guys, here I am sitting here and Vicky's working her tail off editing a video and she's like, your phone glitched and you never even said which horse this was. I did say it, but my phone was acting up and it didn't record it, so. This is Mustang, Emily's horse. Emily is our niece, and if you've been watching for a long time, then you maybe recognize this horse. And he's been a little um, nervous around Emily, and Emily's been a little nervous around him, and so we said, let us bring him home and work with him a little bit and see how, how he does with Blake. So let's keep watching. So while Blake is messing with Mustang, I'm gonna deworm Eho here. He's kind of muddy in places because of the water we've been receiving lately. I'm going to take him to the veterinarian too. Does anyone notice that, that he has one of his ears that's not perking up? This one over here. One of them will perk up like that. But the other one is staying down to the side and it, it just doesn't look as sharp but I just want to make sure there's not something wrong. I've read up on it a little bit and I've heard that, you know, if they stick their, their face through a panel or something and pull back, they can cause some ner nerve damage or something. But anyway, I just hope it's nothing serious. I don't think it is, but it just doesn't look as sharp to have one ear that's down. So one, one ear that's, he's putting both ears back right now put your ears forward he hears mustang over there so anyway i just don't know what it is so if you've ever had this happen to a horse let me know what the diagnosis was and if there's anything i can do to treat it but i'm gonna worm him real quick deworm him so blake desensitized mustang for a little bit just on the ground and now he's hopped on with just a halter and lead rope and we had this trash can get tipped over by the cows. What are you doing with a PVC pipe? Well, I rode up to grab, get a sunset picture real quick. On the way back, I was just messing around, hitting tarps on the way down that were around my truck and stuff. And, and this was just leaning up against the bush. So I figured why not use it to desensitize a little bit. So I've been moving it around the whole time. It doesn't care about this anymore. But it's good because sometimes a horse just walking past that, it'll scare some horses just walking past the thing like that. But he's, he, he doesn't mind walking past it all that much. But if it moves or something, then sure thing he might jump. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to... So Blake's just trying out. to desensitize it from anything that could spook it. We just... 
Emily is, an, is awesome with horses, but she's been a little nervous to ride Mustang because she's been tossed off a time or two. And, um, and yet Mustang's super well-trained. So we're just trying to see what is it that gets him to react because he really does do well with most things. So here Blake's doing something that would cause almost any horse to, to spook. Just as oh, this. I guarantee I get off on any horse and can do something with this, but. Blake's had a cold. You probably can tell from his voice that he's. Jasper, watch out. Jasper. I hope the video is decent enough under the light. It's pretty much, the sun's just gone down. Blake mentioned that he went and got a sunset picture. It's kind of fun, but Blake for years has wanted a property that is close to our house. He dreams about one day owning that and building his own place. And so about every night that he sees a, a good sunset over there, he goes and gets a sunset picture. So let me show you some of the beautiful sunset pictures that Blake's taken of his dream property that he hopes one day to be able to buy. So. Like I say, we've never done a video all under lights here. I hope this isn't too bad, but I hope you enjoyed those sunsets. Blake hadn't even put on a real bridle. He's just been desensitizing. He's My, bro. Yeah, he's it. So he backs up like no problem. He'll practically spin in circles, but if he ends up not being a good fit for Emily, they may be looking for a new home for him. I believe, I remember he's about 16 years old. He's super well trained. But if he's not a good fit for Emily, we may be helping her find a new home. And so he'd make a great Jim Canna horse for someone that's at least ridden quite a bit you know we just because he's well enough trained anyone can ride him but on the other hand if he's gonna spook at a few things and stuff we don't want to put someone inexperienced on him slipped. yeah slipped in the mud thanks for trying him out tonight yeah. and everybody tell me what you think of Blake's dream property and his sunset pictures I think it's kind of cool. Not too many teenage boys find beauty in, in their surroundings like Blake does. When he sees a beautiful sunset, he's like, Dad, I gotta go take a, a sunset picture. And uh, anyway, actually, Blake, let's show him the picture. Stop real quick. Let's show him the picture you took of your truck up on the hill the other night with the lightning storm. Oh, that was a fun picture. So we'll end with that. He had the... Those silly flags he puts on his truck, one that says Saturday is for the boys and the other one full sand. And he parked up on a hill in a lightning storm and got the dream picture. So here you go. Real quick, I know I'm just jumping around here in the dark tonight. Blake's still riding 
Mustang around there in the arena. I don't know if you can see in the dark or not. I can't hardly see him out there. Anyway, so Blake's riding around on Mustang. I got Eho dewormed tonight. And here's Chipper. You can tell she, we are feeding the heck out of her that Marin Full stuff that um, some of you followers have sent us is so helpful. And she she looks good, except for she's one that gives a lot of uh, nourishment to her babies. She has a big old bag of milk. The ba baby's too young to to worm, uh, wean, and so right now it's pulling on her a little bit, you know, just showing her ribs but she's in good flesh she's healthy and a week or two ago blake took her to my cousin sean palmer's house and had her flushed out with antibiotics or so uterus is all clean and, and ready so that hopefully we can expose her to gold 66 it'll be gold 66's first cult and probably chipper's last and uh, so anyway, don't worry, even though she, her ribs are showing a little bit, she is being fed actually better than she ever has with the awesome gifts that some of you have sent. And she is in good health. She's just, even human moms, some when they're nursing, lose weight. My daughter Kaylee does that, the chippers kind of skinnier right now but she's in good flesh but i wanted to show you a gold 66 real quick i am so excited about this light up here that my son bryson installed and uh so it helps us be able to see the horses at night time and gold 66 is looking amazing so how did he do i feel like he did good um there's definitely some things that can be worked out of him. I think his biggest thing is just, sometimes there's little things that he's just timid about. And then if if he's already thinking about it and then something happens to it, like with that trash can, like he was looking at it already. And then all of a sudden when I start moving it with a stick, that's when he decided to react. Um, but I honestly think he's a great horse. I think it may just take some time some desensitizing to just get those kinks out of them. You're awesome. Thanks for riding him tonight. You got. So this is the horse we call Gold 66. And he came from Bayfield, Colorado, Martin's Quarter Horses. And honestly, I believe Martin Quarter Horses are the prettiest horses I have ever seen in my life. Oh, I was going to scare him over in the light, but he's out here going to the bathroom. He didn't want to poop in his nice covered area. But anyway, seriously, they are the nicest horses I have ever seen. And now we own one of them. And I'm even more excited that we have an upcoming deal that we are going to work with Martin's Quarter Horses on something, a surprise that I cannot wait to tell you about and can't wait to see how it comes to fruition. So anyway, this is Gold 66 and he will get exposed to Chipper or Chipper will be exposed to him, meaning that he'll be allowed to breed her. And I am so excited to see ho hopefully his first cult and I think it'll be Chipper's last. Tell me what you think of that and have a good night.